I asked at the previous estimates some questions in relation to the Violence Against Women campaign. Uh, that, that campaign, and I asked in particular about the research that informed it, and it stated without giving any citations, and I quote here, there is a clear link between violence towards women and attitudes of disrespect <coughs> and gender inequality. Uh, Senator, the um, campaign is based on a range of research, including um, international and domestic research, um, including the World Health Organization, Preventing Intimate Partner and Sexual Violence Against Women, Taking Action and Generating Evidence, as well as the um, ANRO's research for the Australian Bureau of Statistics Personal Safety Survey. Um, a variety of these researchers, um, these research pieces go to um, one of the key um, elements that go towards violence against women is disrespectful behaviour and um, gender inequality. Yes, okay, well, you didn't quite answer my question, but anyway, you did refer to the WHO report. Are you arguing that the WHO report indicates that of all the factors, gender inequality is the heart of the issue? No, in the campaign we don't argue that gender inequality and disrespectful behaviour is at the heart of the issue. It is one of the contributing um, factors. It's not the only contributing factor to violence against women. What else does the WHO report suggest <coughs> Um, uh, is, is uh, responsible for violence against women. I actually don't have the full details of that report with me, Senator. The WHO report lists individual factors, low income, low education, sexual abuse, parental violence, <coughs> antisocial personality, harmful use of alcohol, illicit drug use, acceptance of violence. It lists relationship factors, multiple partners and fidelity low resistance to peer pressure, and it lists community factors, weak community sanctions and poverty, and societal factors, traditional gender norms and social norms supportive of violence. So in, in none of those does it actually nominate uh, gender inequality as a key uh, contributor. Now, the sixth paragraph in your response refers to an unpublished 2007 paper by Michael Flood and, and also a report of a survey by Vic Health, the unpublished paper by Michael Flood. Did it support your, the, uh, the contention that uh, disrespect and gender inequality uh, were relative, more important contributors, or did it compare them to uh, other contributors like poverty, alcohol abuse, and drug abuse? Senator, I'm not aware it gave it any um, greater import, importance in that research. Did the survey compare the contribution of disrespect and gender inequality to violence against women against other factors like poverty, alcohol abuse and drug abuse? I'd have to take that on notice. I'd have to take that on notice. Um, in fact, we found that um, the survey only mentioned, uh, only measured reported attitudes to violence. Um, so attitudes, in other words. So I'd like to go a little further into that survey. That survey, which you cited as a as a as a source for a reference source for uh, and to underpin the the violence against women campaign, it states that it is an area of concern that only 60% of young people agree that violence against women is common. Um, so that raises the question, can you definitively say that violence against women is common? And, and I mention that because the recent, most recent ABS personal safety survey indicates that 1.5% of women reported experiencing violence by a partner or ex-partner during the previous 12 months. So 1.5%, I mean, I suppose it depends on your definition, but I'm not sure that that would qualify from my definition of common. I get where I'm not heading, I'm not going anywhere on this by suggesting violence against women is acceptable or desirable or, or anything other than uh, something to be avoided. But I am, what I am questioning is the commitment of uh, taxpayers' funds to a program <coughs> for which uh, the, the suggestion was, as I raised last estimates, 
the fundamental assumption is there a clear link between violence towards women and attitudes of disrespect and gender inequality. Now, um, in, uh, there's a 2013 United Nations page, a quantitative study on male violence against women in Asia and the Pacific by Fulu et al. It indicated that low gender equitable attitudes were less important factors explaining intimate part of partner violence than nearly every other factor listed, including the number of lifetime sexual partners, childhood abuse or neglect, a lack of education, food insecurity, oppression and alcohol abuse. Do you consider this UN study to be a credible source? I'm not um, privy to the detail of that study, Senator, so I can't make comment on it. I mean, what, I'm, what I'm suggesting to you is that uh, there, there is a danger, and I'm suspicious that uh, you have selectively taken the evidence rather than uh, taken it as a whole. Because what you've sent me so far does not um, do, do it justice, in my view, and I, su I suspect that the program is misdirected, and it could be more successful if it was redirected. 